Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to my channel. I'm here. I just went to Tim Hortons. I got like myself a little breakfast. I already had coffee at home, but they have these new drinks and I keep seeing like commercials for them. So I'm like, girl, I want to try one so bad. This is the Blackberry Yuzu Refresher. So let's try it. Today is May the 25th. Happy birthday, Perry, if you're watching. <laughs> um, today is like a low key day for me. I wanted to go to the a beauty supply store because I need to get some stuff for like my nails, just to like repair my nails, my natural nails, because you guys know I do my um, acrylic nails. Well, I don't even know, are they acrylic? Yes, I do my acrylic powder nails at home and the removal process always like shreds my natural nail afterwards. I know there's ways I can make it not do that, but I'm just impatient. I just want to get them off. So yeah, my nails, my natural nails are like busted now. So anyways, let's try this drink. This is the Blackberry Yuzu Refresher. Mmm. It's nice. It's like, um, it's like a fruity kind of soda, sparkling soda. Okay. Okay, I'm not mad at that. And then I'm also kind of hungry. I got myself a breakfast sandwich. This is my favorite breakfast sandwich to get from them on a biscuit, sausage, egg, and cheese. Ugh, this is like divine. I literally love this so much. <laughs> mm. So yeah. I'm going to go to this beauty supply store. They have so much, so much stuff in there. Um, I'll try to get some footage in there. I've been there before. I spent like $600 before on nail stuff. But this time, I have a budget, okay? I need to start budgeting my life and not just spending so frivolously. <laughs> but, mm-hmm. That's a really good egg. She's a good egg. So, um, what have I been up to? What have I been doing lately? This week I had to do some uh, running around with my dad. I had to drive him to his dentist appointment and stuff. And I have to do that again. But it's okay. Because it's actually fun. And you know, it was so funny. I guess like all parents are like this in the car when they drive with you. But my dad was pretty much being my own GPS system. It's like, I know, I know where I have to go. I know where I have to turn and stuff. And, <laughs> and when we would approach the intersection when the light was red, he'd be like, okay, stop. And then, <laughs> and then when the light turned green, he's like, okay, go. <laughs> but what else? What else is going on in Olivia's world? Oh, so a couple of things that I'm trying to manifest. I contacted Dyson because they have this new straightener, this Air Straight uh, Dyson straightener. And it's supposed to like dry your hair while it's like blow dry your hair straight. And then it has, so you can have it wet and it's just going through your hair and it's straightening it without any metal plates. And then I think you can turn, then you go from wet, then you do the dry setting, which has the metal plates that will like work against the hair to flatten it more. So I don't know, I was like, I really want this, but $700, like fuck, I already have the Dyson Air Wrap, I already have the Dyson straightener, the Coral straightener. So for me to spend another 700 for something additionally, I'm like, I, I, I will do it, but let's see if I can get me, get me some, some free stuff from Dyson. So you guys, let's manifest that for me. Hopefully it's already happened, but I contacted them and then I filled out like this form, so. We'll see if that goes anywhere. Cause girl, I want some free shit. <laughs> but yeah. Boo. Update on the car. I have been absolutely loving this Jeep. This is like everything I've ever wanted in a car. I have the height, but it's not too like wide. It's not too big. So it's easy to park and the turning radius is actually like really good when you turn to turn into like wherever you're going and parking spots or exiting and trying to you know do it swiftly this is very good it's such a good freaking vehicle man i swear i love it so much i didn't know this before but there is a jeep signal that you do whenever you drive by a jeep 
because I was driving one t downtown for an event and I noticed every single Jeep I was driving past, they would like go like this. They would wave at me <laughs> and I'd be like, oh, like, I don't know what the fuck to do. But yeah, it is just a Jeep signal, a Jeep little, you know, secret handshake or whatever the fuck you gotta do. Or not a handshake, like a hand wave. So yeah, I thought that was funny. But, and I think one of you actually said, oh, I forgot your username, but one of you told me that there's ducking, which people go, if they see a, a parked Jeep, they'll put like a rubber ducky on the, the front or something or on the door handle. <laughs> That's not happened to me yet, but I thought that was funny. So I love this fucking car. I absolutely love this car, you guys. I can't. I like take it out every, almost take it out every day because I just want an excuse to get in it and drive it because it's just so nice and I, I love it so much. I love having a vehicle. I love feeling so free and feeling so independent and able to go where I want whenever I want and not have excuses to not go somewhere or be somewhere because I don't want to fucking take an Uber, you know? Well, and also I'm trying to manifest another thing in my life, which is getting some local modeling opportunities. I, as you guys know, started out years ago. This is before the pandemic. I modeled on City Line, which is a Toronto morning show. I modeled on there. I was appeared on there three times, like three different occasions. But one time I did two different looks. So technically I have four appearances on three dates. Such a good experience, like literally life changing. And I actually documented it and I, I made a video about it so I do have that I'll link it in the description if you're curious but then I also did like a runway I did like a runway for this Toronto Fashion Academy at the women's show it was like a convention for like all about women's show in Toronto I did that I did the runway look I think I did three or four looks on the runway <laughs> and that was interesting that was like really fun too um, what else did I do Hopefully I can get back to my roots and do some local modeling. So I'm manifesting that for myself. You guys, please, please help me manifest that. Please hope that for me. And if you're not, I'm repelling you. I'm repelling your negative energy right now with, with my black, is this black tourmaline? Yes, my black tourmaline bracelet. Okay. But anyways, I'm going to go into the store now, get some stuff from my cracked fucking ruined ass nails. I don't even want to show you guys how bad they are. But anyways, okay. Bye! So I just came back, you guys. It's not exciting. Like, honestly, I got stuff that's not that exciting. I got this super speed dry spray. When I do my toes, I like to just have them dry really fast. I just use regular nail polish on my toes because to do gel on your toes, it's hard to remove. So yeah, I just do regular polish and it lasts quite a while. Then I want some super speed, speed spray so it can dry faster. I got this Kiara Sky number 10 acrylic brush. This is what I use to do my acrylics. Um, by the way, this place has so many Kiara Sky products, as you guys can see. Kiara Sky is like huge in the nail game. And I used to buy their stuff during the pandemic. And I used to pay so much for shipping and so much for duties. And I realized, can I get this locally? Because this is insane. 
I went on their website and I was about to check out. I'm like, wait, let me see if a salon locally has it. And guess what? This store, the salon supply store, has an abundant amount of them. Of Ups Kara Sky products, so. Okay, then I got this nail solution. This is for ugly nails. It says ugly and unattractive nails. <laughs> so, you know, if you're if you do a lot of acrylic and your nails are just um, traumatized as traumatized by artificial products. I'm going to start using this on my nails because it's ridiculous. Then I got this cuticle nail oil by C&D. Solar oil it's called. And then I got this daily keratin treatment by C&D. So that's also to repair my nail bed and my nails in general. I need to give them a, a break because they are so weak. And then I just got these two different bowls. This is just like a soak off bowl if you want to soak your hands in it to remove your acrylics. Warm water, a little bit of acetone, a little bit of soap too. I should have got these earlier, but I decided to just be impatient and just rip my nails off. Cool. Um, and then I also just got uh, just this thing of pure acetone and she wrapped it up for me. She said, make sure it doesn't spill in your car. And I said, you're right i won't our nails need some help y'all i'm gonna take a break from nails for a while don't judge me if you see little nubs for some reason i feel so ugly when i don't have my nails done it's so it's such a weird thing same with like if i don't have a tan i just feel a little less like my a little less like myself even though i guess me without a tan is my natural self but yeah Okay, I guess let's let's go. Woo! I'll drive with you guys for a little bit. Um, I don't know where I'm gonna go now. I do have a home sense, but I feel like home sense is just like whatever. Like fuck. I'm sorry, you guys, but home sense is just like a bunch of nonsense. You know, a bunch of just clutter. <laughs> I used to love home sense, but now I'm just like over it. Music is the vibe. So open up your eyes. Oh my gosh. We are driving past my university. Oh. Oh my god. I have such like, what's the word? Nostalgia for this place. Even though like, yeah, it was kind of annoying. <laughs> it was very stressful. Very stressful to be a student. Especially not knowing how I was going to make money after... I graduate it was very very difficult and high stress and high anxiety but you know I did enjoy being in school I did enjoy learning and I enjoyed class having classes and I didn't enjoy having to do all those fucking readings all the fucking time but it was just like I mean, I guess, I guess there were a lot more downsides than there were positive sides to it. The positive side being getting an education and learning and growing, growing as a human being. That's the only positive side to it, really. And I guess meeting people and socializing, that's the positive side. The downside to it for me was the commute, the campus life, like having to walk around and it always be jammed packed with students and... Um, no place to sit, no place to sit, no place to have like coffee or like breakfast or food or anything because it's always so busy. Not enough places to sit, not enough places, you know, there's a Starbucks and the seating for the Starbucks was always packed and never could get a seat. So if it, if it was improved where I could like have a better seating and shit, then yeah, that would be a vibe. But I'm kind of curious, so I want to drive by it. So I think I'm gonna flip the camera and just give you guys a little synopsis. Hold on, me girl. Me's girl. Hold up, bitch. We're gonna go to Olivia's old school. Oh, I have such nostalgia. I hate it. <sighs> okay. Let me just pull over real quick. So we're gonna get a better camera angle, switch, do a little switcheroo. This is actually gonna be really fun. I'm gonna just drive, maybe I could even park somewhere, but yeah, York University, that's my alumni. 
I had a, I did like um my four year undergraduate program, graduating with sociology and honors cum laude, and also English too. I minored in English, and then I went back again to do my master's degree in sociology. But yeah, here we are. It is a Wednesday, so I believe there would probably be a lot of students walking around, but um, yeah, I just, oh, I'm just nostalgic, you know, it's nostalgic as fuck, please. but what I hated was commuting here uh, in the winter time, it was so difficult, it was freezing cold, but they built like a... Um, they built a subway system so it was at least better it wasn't just all buses because before I had to hop on a bus which really fucking sucked waiting in line for a bus in the like freezing cold outside um, I kinda wanna, oh maybe I should have went through there but there's a lot of really beautiful buildings here this is the archives of Ontario building this to my right over here, this platform that you guys see is the subway system. Really nice. I had classes in this building up ahead right here. This building to the right, this is called the Alkalade East building. I had classes in here. And then to my left, you guys can't see on the camera, but it's the Schulich. Oh shit, there's so many crossing. Is the Schulich Business School. I'm turning right, right here, and I actually, I had a lot of classes down here at this building. Hold on, it's the building to the far at the far left, the silver kind of looking building. I don't know if you guys can see from the angle, but the silver building to my left right now over here I actually worked in there I worked as a research assistant for a professor and then I also have many 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 classes in there so yeah kind of nostalgic you guys kind of nostalgic and shit they have a Burger King down there and a lot of other shit oh my god I kind of miss this shit you guys like, the campus is actually kind of beautiful. I know that there was a lot of, um, unfortunately, there was a lot of attacks that happened here. <laughs> like, more, more so where the housing is, like, to my left right now. But, yeah. Actually, I'm gonna turn in, in here. Cause this is like where you get that beautiful view of the architecture building. So this building is actually the engineering building and it would be really funny because a lot of us sociology students would laugh because all the liberal arts buildings are like really old and shit. And then you have like the science and the tech and the beautiful buildings for them. And then we'd have like the old scrubs. I don't want no scrubs. Oh, look at this little freaking demon. This goose all by itself. Hello, Mr. Man. Mr. It's crossing the road. <laughs> I love talking to animals like that. So I used to cross right here and go into this door to my left, left, left. Founders College. This is where I had a lot of classes, actually. A lot of my liberal arts classes were in this area. I guess we'll go. <laughs> That's where I used to go, you guys. Mm, this is right. There's also this field over here. I think this is the BMO. No, this isn't the BMO. This is some type of field. Girl, I don't even know. Can I just want to stop for a second? This is the York U Lions field. <laughs> I don't know if you guys can tell, but in the far back, York U Lions. Pretty cool. Okay, so up ahead right here, 
they renamed this place, but it's called the Sobe State Stadium right now. But this is the York Convocation Center. So this is actually where I was, I had my convocation. And it was so, it was like late in October. So it was very fucking cold. But yeah, isn't that so cute, you guys? So cute. 